Welcome to another edition of Entrepreneurship 101. My name is David Shins. We're back, man. Episode 31 of Entrepreneurship 101, man. This is 31 episodes, okay, of giving powerful content, great information for entrepreneurs who want to create that bridge between their job and their dream. So funny. I wrote a book about it. You might want to get the book, Dreams Are Built Overnight. It was voted best book of 2017. I don't know who voted it, but there's mad people who said it. So today we're gonna to talk about money, okay? I was literally three minutes ago on Instagram Live and this guy said, yo, I'm having a problem saving money. And I said, ooh, let's do an entrepreneurship one-on-one video about it, okay? So this is what I wanna do real quick. It's not gonna take a whole lot of time. One, I need you guys to start to understand money. Understand money and how it works, man. Like money in your hand loses value, okay? Unless your hands are the type of hands that make money, right? So I need you to understand how money works. Do you know putting money in a savings account actually loses money if you put it into an investment i don't want to get into all that right now but i'm going to get into some practical stuff that's just some things to think about but listen i need you to start to understand money study money and then study people with money okay like how do they talk how do they move what kind of stuff do they buy i'm going to give you all a practical solution because a lot of people don't know where their money is you ever get a paycheck on friday and by like wednesday you don't have any more money but you're not a hundred percent sure where the money went 20 40 $60, this is one thing I did when I was at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm gonna ask you guys to do it. Every single day, I want you to write down what you make and what you spend. Every day. Every day. So I'm not asking you to change your spending habits or your buying habit, but I'm just asking you to start to notice it. If you make $100 this day, you write it down. You made $100 in your business and write where it came from. I made $100 in shirts and then I got my paycheck today. It was $300. You got $300 for your job that particular day. But also you went to the McDonald's and you spent $6.89, okay, on some foolishness, okay? If you eat McDonald's, you should be ashamed of yourself. Um, you also spent $250 on some Jordans. You had a hot date, okay? That date cost you $175, okay? You had $175. I'm just asking you to start to notice because what's going to happen is, if you know you have to face that paper, at the end of the day, you know you're gonna have to write it. It's gonna be grueling like, ugh, I put $250 on some shoes. That was stupid. I need you to see how stupid it is when you're writing it down, okay? Because then you won't have to wonder where the money came from. And then you can start to notice how you're spending more than you're making. Is this making sense? So what I'm asking you to do is just write it down. So I'm not asking you to change your buying habit, but I want you to start to notice because if you notice, then you'll start to change it yourself. I remember one time I was at Foot Locker and I started going through this process and I was trying on the shoes. I'm like, how much are the shoes? My man said the shoes was $90 uh, plus tax. So I'm like, yo, how much is tax? So I knew I had to write it down. He's like, it was gonna be uh, almost $100. And I thought about it. I thought about this little paper that I have to face when I get home. I say I'm serious about my business on the spend side of the ledger I gotta write down a hundred dollars and then at the end of the month I have to look at why my business isn't growing why I didn't have enough money for inventory and I can see I bought it on some shoes so that's I told the clerk I said yo um I don't really like the way they fit I'm good he was like, yo, they're Air Force Ones. They all fit the same. Do you like Air Force Ones? I said, yeah. He said, do you have any? I said, yeah, I got a bunch. He said, well, how do you not like the way they fit now? I was like, ah, these are a little, listen, I don't want them. Thank you. I got up and I walked away. Only because I had to face this sheet because then I started to notice my buying habits and why my business wasn't growing because most businesses don't grow because lack of capital and I saw where my capital was going, okay? So the first step is I just need you to start to notice. Just record, just notice where your money's going and where it's coming from and then you'll start to make adjustments, okay? The second Second thing is, I want you to start to set boundaries. Set boundaries, I spelled that right, don't worry about it. I need you to start to set boundaries. I want you to say, okay, entertainment, I'm only gonna spend X amount of dollars. Going out to eat, I'm gonna spend X amount of dollars. And gas, I'm gonna spend X amount of dollars. Because you'll start to notice in these columns where this is um, clothes, this was entertainment, because you went out with Bay. this was food, right? Start to set boundaries for the next month, okay? 75 cents. 75 cents, good lord! Oh, son, I don't know if I can handle that. Uh, uh, so why don't you get the student loan? I'm up on that soda. That soda, like I told you, 75 cents. 75 cents? Now, how are they gonna call the same when one don't got no sugar? 
You starting to notice your buying habits? You spent $400 on food last month? Well, this month we're gonna spend $350. I spent, you know, $400 on entertainment. Well, this month I'm only gonna spend $275. I'm not trying to change my whole life, but this month I'm only gonna spend $275 on entertainment. I'm telling you, you'll start to second guess when you wanna like go out and spend money at the club and all that kind of stuff because it's outside of your boundaries, okay? So this is like, this is like a quick tutorial. I didn't wanna get like too far into it. Did I miss anything? Good. Hey guys, this is the sleep definition T, okay? It says uh, sleep is a condition of body or mind in which one is highly unproductive and accepts average living condition. It's a mindset possessed by those who believe what they believe solely because they've been taught to believe it. This is the definition of sleep as we talk about it. Sleep is for suckers, okay? And grab the Black Wall Street hat. The Black Wall, Brandon, keep get up, man. Can you zoom in? Can you, zoom, can you see the hat? Can you see that joint? The Black Wall Street joint? Hey! If this video helped you, I want you to go pick up some shirts, pick up some hats, okay? Pick up some wristbands. Sleep is for suckers wristbands. Just rock that. And I got a book. Brandon, where's my book? Where's my book? Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Dreams Are Built Overnight. Rated top book of 2017. I don't know who rated it. It was a, uh, okay, I came up with the rate. It's a dope book though. We sold thousands, helping people all around the world get the book. Dreams Are Built Overnight. And um, yeah, apply this. You'll like it. I'm running out of stuff to say, so maybe I'll just walk away. I'll just walk off. I'll just walk off. That's, that's the way to end it.